Well, my name is Lou Bega. I started uh, becoming a songwriter um, when I was 14. I started writing my first song, brought out my first CDs when I was 16. Then uh, I wrote and performed uh, one of the biggest pop hits in music history in 1999, and since then I am Lou Bega. The biggest change in, in our lives in our household is that the Holy Spirit now sits with us. When we have breakfast, He's there. When we go to bed, He's there. So you're in constant communication with the Creator of the universe, which is Jesus. And this is a big change. And it's not easy at the beginning because you need to, to find a way to, to walk out your, your life. And uh, there's the world and there's the Spirit and there's parts of separation once in a while. But it is the greatest a man can do because you know that you're already with him, that you're saved if you keep walking with him. And uh, I would say this is the greatest change. So uh, we started to search for someone that could baptize us because obviously our pastors and priests were not able to baptize us or you would be on a waiting list for a year which is not the way Jesus Christ would have done it. But we called up Torben, he said, yes, I'm coming around, because we've seen the movie. We've seen the movie and we could sense that he's a humble man that really loves what he's doing. And you want to trust a person when he's humble in the things of the spirit. Very, very important. So we saw the movie and he said, hey, we, want, we need to get baptized. That would be the next step on our spiritual walk with Jesus. And uh, then they came around the whole crew, and uh, we had that fantastic uh, Book of Acts day. Torben says it reminded him of Cornelius, you know, in the Book of Acts, and the whole household uh, praying and getting baptized. Uh, and uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience, and we have it on film, and I'm thankful. So I can show other people, people that are stuck in materialism, people that are stuck with ego, people that are stuck in this world which is just a temporary world. So I feel somehow it is my duty and I love it to stand for Christ in these days and just to show them this is the only way, <laughs> regardless of what the world is offering you. And uh, I'm happy and I'm thankful that the Lord chose us to, to be a little light. I wish for people to see it and to get out of their materialism and daily routine. That they see that there is more than just running after idols, running after false gods, running after yourself. There's so many ways to be deceived in this world. And I just want, want to let them see that we did it. And that since then, we, we, we are not just people that take part in a religious act, but we walk around, we, we try to spread the gospel as good as we can and reach people for the kingdom. Um, yeah, that is actually the only hope that we have.